using MS Excel as database. If you want to store data, you can open a spreadsheet program and start writing whatever the data you want to store for it. This could be the student name, ID, class, marks obtained and so on. This will create a table of students. You may add as many students, delete any of them later or even modify them as per the requirement. This type of table is called a database. A database is an organized collection of data normally distributed on rows and columns. Each row is a record and each column is a particular field. In MS Excel 2010, you can create tables in the form of a spreadsheet having rows and columns. And you can even perform calculation on the data like finding sum, average, etc. MS Excel can be used as a database and can also perform certain operations like searching, adding, deleting, sorting, data validation, etc. The first thing to do when using MS Excel as a database is creating a table. A table in Excel is a series of rows and columns in a worksheet that contains related data. Let us create a table with some sample data. In the table, each row is a record and each column is a field. A record holds all the information or data about one specific object that has been entered into a database. Now that the table is created, we can also add new record or field. A field is a category of information such as name or marks in English, total, etc. If you need to add new record or a new field within an existing table, you can insert a new row or column. To do this, right-click the row number before which you want to insert a record and select insert. A blank row or record will be inserted. For example, if you want to insert a new student before Dheeraj, you will right click on 5 and select insert. A blank row will be inserted. Similarly, if you want to add a new field, right click on the column name before which you want to insert and select insert. A blank column or field will be inserted. For example, to add a new field SSC before EVS column, right click on F column and select insert. A blank column or field will be inserted before EVS column or field. Once the data has been entered in the table, MS Excel makes it easy to search for a record and then delete it. For example, if you want to delete all rows having 22.5 marks, first of all, records with 22.5 marks will be searched. To search in MS Excel, we use Find option. It is under Editing group of Home tab. To find the record, select the Home tab. Click the Find and Select option in the Editing group. Select the Find option from the menu. Find and Replace dialog box will appear. In the Find and Replace dialog box, type 22.5 in the Find What box. Click Find All button to see a list of 22.5 marks. A list of rows with 22.5 marks will appear in the lower part of Find and Replace dialog box. Select the row from the list or press Ctrl A to select entire list. Now that we have found the record, we can delete all the rows having 22.5 marks. To do this, select the Home tab Click the Delete option in the Cells group. 
from the drop down menu, select the delete sheet rows option. All the selected rows are deleted. Sorting data. MS Excel provides us with the facility to arrange data as per our requirement. Arranging data in a particular order is called sorting. Data is sorted to make data analysis easier and faster. Both text, numeric and date data can be sorted in Excel. For example, a table with data about the names of seven students and their marks can be arranged in descending order of their marks. Sorting is of two types, ascending and descending. Ascending means data can be sorted from A to Z or smaller number to larger number or an earlier date to latest date. Descending means Z to A or larger number to smaller number or from latest date to an earlier date. Sorting is always done on columns. You can sort data on the basis of one or more than one column. Sorting is done by selecting Sort and Filter group under Data tab. Let's take an example. To sort a table in ascending order of name from A to Z, select entire table containing data as a range of cells from A2 to G8. Do not select the header row or row 1. Click on Sort icon in the Sort and Filter group of Data tab. This opens a Sort dialog box. From the drop-down menu under Column in Sort by option, select Name, select Values option from Sort on and select Smallest to Largest from the Order drop-down list. Press OK button. The table will be sorted in the ascending order of names. Apart from sorting, MS Excel also gives the option to view data in various columns as per our requirement. This is called filtering. A filtered range displays only the rows that meet the condition specified for a column. Filtering is a quick way to find a set of data in a range. To filter the data in a table, click a cell range for which you want to apply filter. Click on the Data tab and click on the Filter option from the Sort and Filter group. You will now be able to see a small arrow on each column heading. Click on the arrow and select or deselect any value from the given list. Press OK when done. Now you will see the final output after applying filter on English field. This is custom filter. You can also use an advanced filter for filtering data. When you use the advanced filter, you need to enter the criteria on the worksheet. Criteria is a condition based on which the data will be filtered. For creating advanced filter, you have to create a criteria range with the same column headers. To use advanced filter option, follow these steps. First, create criteria range. Go to the data tab and in the sort and filter group, click on advanced option. Advanced Filter dialog box will appear. It will have two options, Filter the list in place or Copy to another location. Click OK to see the result. Data Validation Data validation is the restriction of values or data to be entered in a cell. This ensures that the data entered by the user is valid as per the requirements. So, for example, if the data to be entered is for number of glasses of water, then you can restrict the data to whole numbers between 0 and 50. Follow these steps to apply the data validation. 
Select cell B1. Click Data Validation in the Data Tools group on the Data tab. Data Validation dialog box will appear. Select whole number in the Allow list. Then select Between in the Data list and then enter the minimum and maximum values. Click on Input Message tab and check the option of Show Input Message when cell is selected. Enter title which you want should appear when you click on the cell. For example, in title box you will write glasses of water and in input message box write please enter a whole number between 0 to 50. Click on error alert tab and check show error alert after invalid data is entered. Enter title and an error message. For example, in title box enter invalid number and an error message enter drinking too much. You may also select style drop down menu. Three options will appear stop, warning and information. Stop will not allow the user to enter data other than the min and max value. Warning will only flash a warning if invalid data is entered. You may click Yes, No or Cancel button. Yes button will allow you to enter value outside the range. No button will not allow you to take the value and Cancel button will cancel the operation. Information will only flash an information and the value out of range will be accepted. Now you can click OK. To see the data validation result, select cell B1. Try to enter a number larger than 50. Warning dialog box appears. Select Retry option and enter number between 0 to 50. Subtotal. You can use subtotal feature to subtotal data in a list in MS Excel 2010. To subtotal a list, you must sort the list for which you want the subtotals. Follow these steps to add subtotals to a list. First, select the list for which you want subtotals. On the Data tab, find the Outline group and from here, select the Subtotal option. Subtotal dialog box will appear. Select the field for which the subtotals are to be calculated in the Add Each Change in drop-down list. Check the field for which subtotals are to be calculated in Add Subtotal 2. Specify the type of totals you want to insert in the Use function. Click OK to see the result. Pivot Table Pivot table is a table that allows you to analyze or summarize data in your spreadsheet. You can use pivot table when your spreadsheet data is too large and complex. To create a pivot table, the first step is to enter data in sheet 1. Now, select the cell in the worksheet that contains the data you want to create the pivot table on. Next, select the pivot table option in the tables group on the insert tab. Create pivot table dialog box will appear. Select the range of data for the pivot table in table or range box. Select use an external data source if you want to add report or pivot table from other workbook. Click on Choose Connection option. Now you can choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. New worksheet or existing worksheet. If you select existing worksheet, you will need to select the location where you want to insert pivot table. Select the range in location box and then click OK. Your pivot table will appear. Now in pivot fields, 
Check the fields in Choose Fields to add to report. You can arrange the view of the pivot table field list by clicking on the icon.